Hello everybody, George Gunner. About two years ago, almost to the day, I was in this garage with a pad just like this, trying to figure out which CO2 laser I was going to buy. I even went to go as far as put tape on the floor to measure out the size of the footprint, knowing that my space was really going to be pretty limited if I wanted to get my car in the garage. I'll call it a set of odd circumstances and a couple of flukes. And I was on the phone with the CEO of Eon Laser, Danny Martinez. And he told me that they were working on something that they were calling the Eon Experience, where they had gone out and purchased a whole bunch of other manufacturers' machines. Now exactly why he had told me that it was so people could come in and actually do a comparison. There was no place to go on a national basis and look at all the machines in one place. Yeah, but I thought to myself, he probably wants to get in there and really do a deep comparison of what the different machines do. And if he had them all, you know, maybe take the good and the bad and make the best. Well, I really don't think that's what it was. I think he really wanted to provide everybody an opportunity to see the fit, finish, and really compare the machines. I, with my own money, took a couple of thousand dollars, went to Florida, and tested all of the machines. I went through what they were prototyping as the experience. And I'll tell you, I walked away, this machine was, or their line of machines was the best. Before I purchased, I did an in-depth use analysis with Eon sales manager, Alicia Spector. And I wanted one of their machines that was in the Nova line, or that's what I believed I wanted, and after we, we talked about it a little bit, I really didn't need that much machine. This was all I needed and I saved a couple of thousand dollars. I bought another tool with it and I've been very happy with this. I've had zero mechanical failures with it. I've had zero tube replacements. I've had zero, zero, zero any problems with it. The only thing I've had to do is open it up is, and do standard maintenance like um, clean and wipe down the inside. It's more of an enclosed box machine than most, at least at that point in time, or it, it, in this generation of machine, they've only gotten better. I, I couldn't be happier. I have taken and made templates for um, woodworking out of acrylic. I had a roller system that I wanted to, that had come with a machine. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to engrave wine glasses. I looked at it. And I thought, I can modify this with a simple piece of T-Track, some aluminum and a little bit of rollers, and some acrylic. I made it and improved it. An engineer called it a simple, elegant solution. I actually took a tool that I had and made another tool to come out with the outcome that I wanted. An expensive roller system, $1,000, I was able to avoid. Now, what I made is not as good as one of those roller systems, but it worked. So my, my skill level has come up and I really think now is the time that I could use one of the Nova machines. One of the, the benefits or of the new machine that I'm looking at has both a glass and RF tube. If you wanted to do a photorealistic engrave on a piece of acrylic, make it really come out look like a photo and backlight it, that would probably be the best machine to have. That's why I'm getting one. <laughs> I couldn't be happier to announce I'm getting an Eon Nova. Exactly when it's gonna arrive and all that, I have some other plans for it. I'm trying to work with Eon. What I'd like to do is have it delivered, go down, their techs review each one of the machines when they're shipped in, recalibrate them, prepare them for the American market, and then ship them back out. I'd like to be able to go down record all that information, get to know my machine even better, and then share it with you to show you the difference between what Eon does and what, you know, I'll call it one of the other drop shipping companies do that just bring it in in a crate and then send it to you. If there's a problem, you try and work it out. That's not what Eon does. 
Eon, in fact, has a signature series that they're now manufacturing in the red line where the vast majority of the machine is assembled and some of it with parts that are from the United States. It's improved in the United States. So what are the big changes in the machine? Why would I even consider? Well, one of the things that they did, they went to all of the items normally would need any adjustment, change, or maintenance. They went to the glass tube. They made a docking station. Why I was at camp, well, I'll call it camp. Why I was at camp, they showed us that you can literally remove the, uh, the tube and set in a replacement tube in about one minute. I did it and I'll put the entire video at the end or let it play while I'm talking so you can see just how easy it was to do. One of the problems that most laser operators have is having to remove the lens and clean it on a regular basis to make sure that it's getting the, the proper laser beam through. Any imperfection in either the lens, dirt, soot, that will affect the beam and then thus affect the engraver or the cut that you're doing. What Eon did was went to a toolless system that's magnetically, I'll call it charged, because when you put it in there, you know it's in there and it's fixed and secured. There is even an element to test for the heat that's on it that will read on the Ruida controller. Many people spend money on lenses. It's not necessary because they haven't cleaned it. It gets hot and they burn the lens. This will avoid that. Not only is it less time, but it's more economical to run. And if you're running a business, that's an important thing. The mirrors. Uh, the, the mirrors are in an encased area where th on the inside of most of these machines, it's now sealed. The engraving box or cutting box is on one side and there is a, I'll call it an accordion curtain that keeps all the soot out of the rest of these. Now this is available in almost every one of the Eon products. The Mira 5, I'm not sure if it has the heat sensor in it, but those are the reasons that you'd want to pick up and call Eon. You'd also probably want to pick up and call Eon if you'd like to go see everybody's machine. They were all on the showroom floor when I was there. All the competitors that I would consider were sitting there. To give you an idea, and this is not picking on anybody else's machine, but it could make a difference. I'm about a little over six feet tall. There is a new machine called the Pro that's manufactured by Ohmtech. When you lift the hood, the hood comes up to about the level of my neck. That would be hard for me to get in and, and work around. Another machine with a, with a higher raised roof is, you know, would be superior to me. You can look at the hinges. Uh -oh. Each one of the competitor seals their machine. You can go through it with a professional that says, this is why we did this. And I'll tell you, when I was down there for the experience two years ago, it made a big difference to me. Eon really cares about making sure that they're making a machine that's going to work the best for you over a long period of time. They know that for the most part, these are business machines. Now, I'm really just a hobbyist. I don't sell anything that I make, but I sure enjoy this. And this one, I, I could have bought a couple of these for the cost of one Harley Davidson that I was looking at. And I have a lot more fun with this, and I'm not gonna fall off that motorcycle and get hurt either. If you have any questions, please come into Laser Freedom on Facebook. You, or send me an email. I put my email in all of the comments down below. You'll see that the, the best machine is going to be the best machine for you. You need to have an analysis done for what you plan on doing with the machine. Some of these and Eon makes what is right now, <laughs> according to all the data, I could get the fastest engraving machine on the market. Time is money. You don't want to, if you're running a business, to have to spend more time on any task than you necessarily have to do. 
give me a call. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe. I'm gonna do all I can to get down to Eon when my machine comes off the boat and hopefully they'll let me do what I wanna call a day with the tech because I'm sure it takes a little while to go through these and get them all ready for shipment according to what they call the American standard. I wish you the best. Thank you. Hey Danny, this place came out epic. This place came out epic. It's very nice. Ooh. <laughs>